This pitch breakfast video is brought to you by Spangler and Agins. All right, guys. Uh, you know, uh, my name is Brian Picard. I'm here from Minterapp, the online time tracking invoicing software. Thank you guys for giving me the opportunity to speak today. And uh, before I get started to talk about our pro uh, product, I want to talk a little bit about the background of where we came from. All right, so a little background on where we came from. We came from a development company. We were a PSC to HTML company, and we had tremendous growth. We were working with marketing companies, and we were taking design files and converting them into HTML. And with our tremendous growth, we, were, we end up managing now about 40 to 50 clients a month, and we had growing pains. And with those growing pains, some of our growing pains were with invoicing. We're pay, we were sending invoices from PayPal. That's a pain. To find out how our business health is, to see how much revenue we have in pending invoices, we had to do it on Excel spreadsheets. We didn't have a good understanding. So what we decided to do was create a product that would let us do that from just logging in and we could do it all in one spot. So with that, I want to talk about Minter app and talk about the features that we have. Uh, so this is the list of features that we have, but I also want to give you live examples of what we use it for for our development company, just so you can see how you could apply it to your business as well. So when we, we start a project with somebody, someone's going to send us the project, and we're going to have to give you guys a quote for the project. So the first thing we're going to do is send you an estimate. For, once you guys accept the estimate, we're going to send you the invoice with a click of a button, and you could pay a deposit, or you could just uh, you could pay the entire thing. Outside of the invoicing and tracking all the invoices, you could also uh, time track and figure out how much time you're spending on every single project. Outside of that, you can find out how much, your, how much your total expenses are for all that, and that's all built into a report. And one of our main features also is you have different departments in your company. You might have a marketing department, a design department, develop department. You could uh, assign different bill rates to that department, so you could, with a click of a button, build one invoice uh, that you could send to the client. And our dashboard gives you all that information. Uh, pricing plan, we have a free plan. Three projects, two clients, one user, unlimited invoices. Try our product, give us feedback, uh, you know, and we'll continue to improve on it. Then if you know, your business is growing and you're starting to scale out, that's where you could upgrade to our simple plan. And the simple plan is $9.95 per month for one user, unlimited features. When you're growing your other departments and users, you, can, uh, you could add each individual user for $7 per user. This is an example of our dashboard that we have, and it just really talks about your pending invoices for outstanding invoices, uh, invoice for the month, uh, invoice last month. Uh, this really gives you an understanding of how your business is doing on a monthly basis. I don't have to go to PayPal, download Excel reports, and, or reach out to someone who has access. I could just log in here and look at everything, and I know how our company health is doing. So that is our dashboard, and this is our timesheet. So this is where people can track their time and write detailed reports on what they're doing on a daily basis. Uh, here we have an example, PSD Center, uh, doing work on nation builder design for two hours. This gets tracked, everything can get tracked, and then converted into one invoice. And this is our invoice with the breakdown, uh, just to kind of show you with the product. So uh, this is our current design that we have right now. We are going to be working on modern, making this design modern. Uh, that's one of our next goals. But this is the overall view of how things are uh, at, at the current stage. So the question is, who is our market? Uh, our market is consulting companies, marketing companies, DJs, photographers, anyone that's going to send a bill through PayPal, uh, anyone that wants to see how their business is doing, anybody uh, who wants to time track their projects. So that's who our market base is. And what is our future? Uh, our future is we are currently working on an integration roadmap. Uh, one of my biggest ones that we want to work on is integrating with MailChimp. So you guys just, you invoiced all those clients, those are existing clients right now. Well, maybe you want to touch base with them over the holidays. So now you could import that list of email addresses that you just did, send them a holiday card, and then maybe get more business. Uh, Jira for time tracking, WordPress plugin, uh, we will also be integrating just to, so people can use it across uh, any platform, uh, the WordPress platform. And how will we grow? 
uh, just really through SEO marketing and partner programs. We're looking for partners out there that want to resell our product, that want to integrate maybe they're building a photography website. They could use our product as an add-on and they receive 20% commission for the lifetime of the customer. Uh, our goal for 2015 is 1,000 paid subscribers and uh, you know, currently we have a few hundred people that signed up. Uh, and uh, you know, we have also a number of paid subscribers, but we're looking to grow that base over this year. So that is my pitch, and that is Minter App. All right, panelists, what do you think? I have questions. I'm sure you do too. Yeah, yeah sure. You want to go first? Um, do, do you want us to use the mic, Vic, or can everybody hear me okay? Okay, we don't need it. Um, well, just some, I guess overall, my main question is, how are you different from FreshBooks and all, you know, all the other um, competitors? That was sort of my overarching question that, you know, I, I feel like there was a lot on how it works, which to me is mm -hmm. fairly obvious because that's not what I think differentiates you. So sure. sort of so, feedback and question. Feedback is hit that right off the bat. Why is, instead of background, why is there, what's the need versus what's already out there? Sure, so what we're gonna do is, and you know, it's how we grew our consulting business as well, we're gonna look for partners for integrations. Mm -hmm. uh, people where they could time track. Maybe they haven't integrated with a new uh, platform. We're gonna go after those markets and we're gonna grow. We're gonna become a partner from them. And they're gonna be like, okay, well now you guys could time track with Minter App. And that's how we're gonna grow our business. Uh, you know, what we do better than those competitors or uh, whenever we look to integrate with something, we see what other competitors are doing, we'll research what they are, and we're gonna try to make it even better. Maybe uh, time tracking on Basecamp, you have to download a toolbar. Well, that's not scalable. What if you're on your friend's computer? What if you're outside the office? We don't want it like that. We wanna build a stream streamlined approach where you can use it from anywhere, and that's our goal. That's how we're gonna differentiate ourselves from the competitors uh, through the research and then just streamlining it to make it easier for everybody. You good? Oh, yeah. Um, and I don't, when you got started, you said, you know, your reason for pitching was um, to get some product, uh, product awareness. And um, so I'm trying not to kind of look at this as just like, you know, you're, you're coming for investment dollars, you know. Uh, I'm, but that notwithstanding, you still need to tell me who you are. Like, I, I, the most important thing, I mean, what, if, if there's a triangle of sort of like, who, who is this person? What is the market for this idea? And what is the idea? It's very important that you get out who you, who you are. And your slide, your first slide, I didn't understand it. Uh, you know, you were basically like, well, you might know as we, I don't know if you've come out from an established company that currently does, you know, PSD to HTML transformation. I was like, I don't know what PSD is. Mm -hmm. um, and then you just went and I was like, what I'd love to see is, you know, I'm Brian, this is where I come from. This is what I, this is what my expertise is. This is the company and this is you know and this is this minter app is a separate idea that's coming out and this is you know i would have liked to see that just sort of set and then as Lori mentioned you kind of jumped right into the product i i don't unless there's something in there that's like an invention or you know that where people are going to be like wow you know i i wouldn't even i wouldn't it wouldn't even show it you know it's it's just it's just you've only got five minutes and sure. you know to you know a, a product demo that's even people that are used to seeing lots of product demos, their eyes are just gonna close over. Or you're gonna get someone like me, which is like, I don't really care how it works. I'm like, if before I would invest in your company, before I would buy your product or whatever, I would have somebody else, you know, to, you need to tell me why it's great. And I'll take you at your word, but you know, don't, don't, go, in, don't go into the, the kind of product details on, on this. I wouldn't, in a five minute form. Sure. Yeah, I think because the, the product is pretty straightforward. Um, so, so let me also ask you more about the, the customer side and what kind of traction. So I would love to know a little bit more about um, the customer traction, like your goal of 1,000 paid subscribers. What have you done to date 
to test the market? I mean, have you had any pilots or tests or, or focus groups? Sure. So for testing the market, what we did was when we first started this, we, uh, we thought, okay, well, we built a product. We're going to reach out to people that have similar products mm -hmm. and see if we could pitch our product to them. So we called about, I believe, about a thousand uh, marketing companies and reached out to them. And what we found out was basically they already have a system in place. Why are they going to change the system? So right. we realized, you know what? That's not the market. We want people that don't have this product yet. We want to show our product. We want to get them bought in because once they're bought in, they're not going to change. They said, oh, it's $50 or for them, it's $50 a month. Why am I going to change? I got other business problems to worry about. We want to get the market before they get in so, to, so they could use our product and then have them as a lifetime customer. Yeah, I, th I mean, for that's me, great. That's, I mean, yeah, that's that's, that's awesome. That's a point. You know, you reached out to a thousand people. That's incredible. Did, did I you mean, actually, and, and these are our learnings. I, I want to hear about that. Yeah. Did you actually talk to a thousand people, or did, were you like getting email it was a, feedback? It was a thousand calls. So okay. it was, uh, you know, the numbers right. are. You know, some people didn't want to listen. Some people. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. Just how cold call goes. Yeah. yeah. But I agree with Garth. I think that's really important. I mean, that's an important piece of work that you've done that where you've got that market insight. I mean, that's great. And I do feel like with a product like this, it's it's a you know, it's a fairly straightforward product. So, you know, just building on what Garth said that you know, we don't we don't need to understand it. It's pretty obvious. So helping us see how you're you're different and unique and what the the other thing that I would just um, I think because it is a pretty broad product. When you put your market up there, it's like, like the whole world. Whereas you actually probably, um, from what I'm hearing, you do have a more discrete target market that you've that you've defined through your market research. So I think that's that would be really important to understand that you've done this work, which is you know it sounds like you've done a lot of work to say this is the piece we're going after, and it could be. Um, more of a psychographic group, you know, so there may be so there are a lot of different industries, but you're going to go about the early adopters, for example. Mm -hmm. right. I think that helps us see your, your differentiation on not just the product side, but your, your marketing channel. Okay. They, uh, I, I, I totally agree with that. And maybe how you would frame it is we, you know, we did this research, we came upon, you know, a specific, you know, DJs and, or, or you know something that sort of sounds interesting and new in market this is how big that market is mm -hmm. this is how many we have signed up and this is something that they've said like oh it's awesome you know i totally i totally get it and we're going and this is how we are going to reach out to the rest of that market in a targeted way because i mean customer acquisition is the most important thing i mean especially for something like this and it's it's the hole that all these companies fall into you know, they're just like, how are you going to get new customers? You're like, oh, we're going to, you know, and it's, it's, you can spend a lot of money really, really fast and never rise above the din. But so if you can show that you're, you understand your market, you, you have something that's going to get their attention. This is the success that you've had. And this is who you're going after. And, the, you know, there's the mountain we're going to climb and there's the route we're going to take. And this is how we're going to get there. So if you talk to me in six months, we're going to be up there. And it's, uh, and, and, you know, it can be, it's not necessarily pie in the sky stuff, but it's like, it shows you did your research, you know, mm -hmm. and obviously, you know, is it going to go exactly like that? Probably not, but you're going to do the best you can. And you've got all the information that's required. Um, the other point I'd like to make is, I mean, I love the, the integration roadmap because that's, you're not going to get, you're not going to get anywhere with, you know, having the best product or the most crazy product. Cause for the exact reason that you said, people are like, I already got a time management app. You know, I've, I've got plenty to choose from. Um, why would I switch? I, I've got more pressing things. Mm -hmm. But if you could get even one of these channels, I mean, obviously, you know, you're selling these guys. These guys have an audience. You need to sell one, just one of them and be like, hey, this is, we've specialized this. And you alluded to that, which is good. We're, we're, we're specializing the feature. Why? random MailChimp customer would want to be like, oh yeah, you know, hey, wow, that's, you know, there's a deal or there's a, there, there's such a tight integration, you know, it's, it's a lot of problems that I have as a fledgling business are taken care of or whatever, you know, just, mm -hmm. and, and just really be, be specific on that. But you're definitely onto something with, 
you know, by integrating, you know, getting out, convincing just one of these huge channels, you know, that's going to get you to a thousand DJs, you know, or a, th a thousand, you know, whatever the other uh, uh, categories of, of customer that you have. Right. One, one last comment. Um, when you wrap up, make an ask. Make some kind of ask. Because if, even if it's to get the next meeting, it, it, it's so common to say, okay, well, that's my last slide. Uh, but to just try to make sure you make some kind of ask that you want that, whether it's, in your case, maybe you're not looking for money, but you want a meeting, you want something. That's why you're here. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, but great job. Yeah. I, mean, I think no, you're very articulate, did a great job. Thanks. Sure. All right. Audience turn. Yeah. Thanks for presenting. My suggestion is to maybe price higher. You could do a, I'm sure you've already done this with your own company, but do a calculation of the economic value that your product is providing, mm -hmm. and then take a part of that, and maybe introduce additional pricing tiers. Have one like gold-plated one at the top that most people don't get. I know uh, 37 Signals, now Basecamp, has a good blog post on how they kind of did their pricing and how a lot of people choose the middle option. That's mm -hmm. something to think about, because if you're saying that you're better, it's hard to be a better product and a cheaper product at the same time, people might get confused, so you might want to do premium pricing. Sounds good. Any other questions? Appreciate that. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Well, you won't be All right. Um, I'm, admittedly, I'm admittedly biased. I'm a finance guy. But it <laughs> seems to me that on your integration roadmap, a pretty big missing item is integration into accounting systems. <laughs> um, you know, it, that's where this data is going to go to, right, or should. And so, you know, I do CFO work for probably 10 early stage companies, and if any of them were saying, we want to use this, I would say, why are you not using something that integrates into the accounting system? So I, I would urge you to consider that. Okay, sounds good. Any other questions? Yeah. Uh, I would encourage you to tell a story. I think that as an investor, I want to believe in something whether it's you as the founder or whether it's the story of why you're doing this. So rather than saying this is what we do, say this is why, here's the problem, here's what we're trying to solve, and this is why I'm the guy you need to believe in that's going to solve this problem over the long term. That's great. Okay, thanks. Uh, just a question about uh, you, you, the total uh, market, addressable market in quant in quantified terms, have you, uh, I don't know if I missed that part, but uh, is that quantified what you're targeting uh, in dollars and cents, uh, the total market, and sure. thousand, uh, what percent of the total market are you aiming for in the first year? Thank you. Sure. So, you know, this product is in early stages, and we're defining, we have certain ones that we're going after, and we've looked at statistics, uh, but overall, you know, we're learning as we get new customers in, and let's just say it's a bed and breakfast or someone like that, we're also finding out the value of that. We don't have the, I don't have all the exact numbers, I know it's not the best thing to say, but uh, you know, the market, I, we know the market's huge, and our competitors show the market's huge, I don't have the exact numbers for you though. I think I made this, could you repeat what problem you're solving? <laughs> uh, sure, so I am streamlining uh, the way uh, people to invoice clients so they could get paid uh, and uh, and then also for them to be able to track their time spent on projects so they could see how profitable they, they are on every project. Got time for one more. There you go, right in front. Um, this is strictly on a presentation standpoint. But on each of the phase of your presentation, your, your background, product yourself, and future, three general areas that you cover will instill all the basic questions that the panel discussed back, feature, benefit. Mm -hmm. Talk about why you're here, the benefit that you provided to your audience. That already gives you some credibility with your audience right there. Same is true in describing the product. Back, feature, benefit. Keep it with answering the question before what makes it better than everything else? And it doesn't have to be long-winded in, in any of these phases. And the obvious is the same is true with the future. Here's our projections. Here's why we're doing it. And here's the benefit of what our audience is going to get. 
you get that, then you're asking, you're answering the questions because when Japan wants it, I want my ROI. I'm going to give you money. What do I get out of it? Greed is everything in this whole thing. So, but it was a good presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Ladies and gentlemen, Brian.